I have a Kenmore Ultra Soft 425 water softener. Bought it back in 2003. I read the owner's manual and it said that I need to do maintenance on my Venturi and my nozzle which is underneath the lid so I'll have to take the lid off clean everything out put it back together I'll probably call it a Ventura I'm going to leave the power on because the power don't seem to be an issue with the project that I'm doing here but if you feel more comfortable unplugging your water softener before you attempt this project that would be the, probably the safer thing to do. Some of the instructions for this water softener are right underneath the hood here. But you have to have the owner's manual to see the rest of them. It doesn't tell you everything. First thing you want to do is push in your bypass to redirect the water from going into your softener. Some of them is not that easy to push in. Some of them you might have to Tap them a little bit to get them to move. You want to get this little latch off here. Take one hand, put it all the way over to the other side of the latch and push it toward this side. And while you're doing that, you can actually pull it off. It should come right, yeah. That should come right off and get that out of the way. The next thing you want to do is, is pull on both sides. You got one of these on each side. Pull it out and up and it will release the, the back end of it. And after you get the back end released, you'll come around here to the front and you will pop these two pins here and the top should come off. Pop these in the back, get it broke loose. Pop these in the front, it should, it should slide right off. This is what we need to take off and clean, and we should be able to do it with no tools. You know, we should be able to just take that out, clean it, put it back together. Okay, I got my bowl of warm soapy water. Got some parts, and uh, some of them are real small. You can tell how dirty it is. I'm going to clean that up, put it back together. You know, it's got some got some grime in it, and we'll see if that helps with my soft water. You can see how this comes apart. This green comes out first, and it is pretty nasty. And then you have this little piece here. It's got the O-ring on top of it, and that'll go. That'll go in first when you put it back together. We'll also clean that. Okay, there's what everything looks like. We still have a flow plug down in the center here. We'll take a toothpick, and we will pull that out. See if I can get it here. Take it down and just kind of pop it out. And that's the last thing we got to take out and uh, put it in the cleaning bucket. Okay, this is your flow plug. And you got to remember it only goes in one way. This is the top. That's the bottom. That's the part that you want to put in first. You want to put that downward. When you put it in, this is the part you should be looking at after you insert it. Okay, I believe this is your nozzle. As you can see, it also has a flow plug. You can take it out with a toothpick also, clean it. It only goes in one way. Okay, we have them all clean, laid out in the order in which they should go back together. With the screen right here being the smallest part, we have two flow plugs. One that goes in first, and it has a smaller hole in it. Once you install that, make sure the letters are facing you. The second flow plug, if you get these mixed up, I don't know if you can see it, but it has a larger hole. And it also goes in with the letters facing up towards you after you install it. Okay, now to put it back together, I'm going to use my toothpick to put this back down in there. That way I know I got it facing the right way. next thing we did was put in the little screen as you can see right there okay now we install this little it looks like a diaphragm and it only goes in one way as you can see it's got a hole in it 
actually it's got two holes in it but the one hole will uh, be where the, that little screen is and you have a, a notch which will line up with the other notch in the housing okay we got it in now we'll put the nozzle inventor in which is this blue piece right here and it will go in only one way also slip right down in there the screen goes in pointing upward a little notch there helps out because everything is made around that notch next part is right here make sure the little piece right here is facing up the little indention okay we're going to put the o-ring on and the cap back on but we're going to put a little bit of vaseline on that o-ring before we put it back on okay we put vaseline on the o-ring put it in place now we're going to put the cap back on there and when you put this on you only want to put it hand tight snug it down and then that's it. It's all the tighter you want it to be. You don't want to break it. Okay, we're going to put the cover back on. I cleaned it up a little bit, wiped it down. But after uh, seven years, almost eight, of not being clean, it's uh, got a lot of dust on it. So, what we want to do now is put it back in first. You have two little latches in the back that go into a little slot. You put them in there, and all you have to do is come back around to the front, push them in, and it snaps down, and you're done. Now all you have to do, if you want to, you can put the little latch back on it. Don't forget to turn your bypass on back off so it'll go back into the water softener, like so.